I asked if I could take the picture. This sort of absurd scene of this man in white patent leather shoes and white polyester pants. And that big little boy striped shirt. That's fantastic what he's wearing. There were always these guys on the street, sort of dumb looking guys, people to be ignored. It looked like, you know, they could be on the golf course. And then you'd have one or two guys in suits because they'd been in court, you know. They all gathered together and they had little storefronts, but you wouldn't walk in there. And of course, the most famous one was the Ravenite, where John Gotti was there. I used to see him all the time. He was a very polite man. My wife would say, that's the mafia. <laughs> Wait, are you kidding me? When I moved to New York, I was intoxicated with the work of Joseph Mitchell. Much of his early work is about the kinds of characters that I saw hanging out on the street. <laughs> culture of Italian would really have a whole block or two or three with the restaurants and their social clubs. But this was the time of real like pirates. This is like the Wild West. He's, you know, at that point as, as dangerous a man as there is in America. He said, don't sell it. Don't sell that photo. So just for fun, I just want to play, hey, where the fuck is Tony? And these two guys, I remember them in baby blue leisure suits, <laughs> got out and they were half again as tall as I was. So I finally went, oh, well, yeah, I was just kidding. <laughs> you rat bastard. You know, I thought finally I've had it. So I pick up the phone and I call the local precinct and I said, you know, the Mafia guys across the street here are lighting off these fireworks. It's insanely dangerous. It's insanely loud. And the cop says, there is no such thing as the Mafia. They thought they were invincible, especially John Gotti, the Teflon Don, until he wasn't anymore. The CIA, the FBI, they were all over the neighborhood. And after that, it's just completely vanished. The Raven Eye Social Club is now a shoe store. I don't feel any bad karma in this place, which is pretty extraordinary. Oh my God! Holy! I can't believe that the ceiling just broke down. <laughs> this is very weird that it would happen while you were here, guys. Available now on Video On Demand.